Your hostess, me, Peaches Christ. <laughs> Does this look clean to you? Mommy Dearest is a real Midnight Mass classic. There are a few films that we would call mass classics, the ones that we can show over and over and over again, and people will love them. And a lot of people like kind of, you know, ask me like, is it appropriate to celebrate a movie that's in, in essence about child abuse? And um, the answer is yes. Uh, the, the reason that the child abuse can sort of be overlooked is because of the over-the-top, insane performance given by Faye Dunaway. Don't you dare judge me! Now, a lot of people would argue that it's not a good performance. I would actually say that it's an excellent performance. It's an amazing performance. It's an entertaining performance, and it's really, at, at the end of the day, it's brilliant. And it's too bad that Ms. Dunaway still has not embraced this film and refuses to kind of acknowledge it. Um, but I guess, you know, if it ruined your career in show business, you might be bitter. I feel like it's an okay movie that's just elevated to greatness by an incredible performance. If she wasn't in that movie doing that with the eyebrows and everything, it just, it wouldn't be the same. People just, they talk about the performance, not so much about the movie as being a great film. Faye Dunaway really takes it to a level that has not really been achieved before or since in her portrayal. Who do you think you're talking to? It was also kind of an instant cult classic, like audiences embraced it, but unfortunately I don't think audiences are the ones giving the movie roles to the actors, so perhaps people were just turned off by her over the top betrayal. You know, I have never actually seen this film. I have seen and heard so many quotes from the film that I never actually got around You've to seeing it. have seen the trailer dozens of times. Yeah. They're gonna take away my gay card for saying that. We decided that this was the easiest possible drag that one could do. And not only is it easy and it's comfortable, no high heels, for instance. <laughs> No wig, but um, also we're getting like a beauty treatment at the same time. So this is a Can't brilliant drag. By tomorrow morning, our skin will be silky soft and fresh, and we'll be ready to go. Yes, mommy dearest. I want to give mommy dearest the treatment it deserves. It should be celebrated. It should be put up on a pedestal. And um, I think Faye Dunaway's uh, performance as Joan Crawford is so good that you often forget that she is Faye Dunaway. And when I'm doing Midnight Mass press and putting together kits for the press, I forget like who is who. I look at a picture of Faye and I have a picture of Joan and I put them both in the same category. How amazing a performance you know, did she give that you forget she's not Joan Crawford. Now, you know, poor Joan really is the one who kind of, you know, ends up suffering because now her legacy is, isn't that of a, of a great Hollywood actress, you know, solely, but it's also that of a, you know, a wire hanger child beater. <laughs> <laughs> a wire hanger child beater? What? So for tonight's Midnight Mass presentation of Mommy Dearest, there's a little something extra special and close to my heart that's part of the show. My own mother, Mrs. Christ, is here and we put her in the show. Now she's flown out to San Francisco from Maryland and she's being a really good sport about the whole thing. Uh, I actually think that maybe I'm a little more nervous than she is. Uh, but yes, my mommy dearest is here tonight and she's going to be playing with us on stage. How much are you paying your mom, Peaches, for this performance? Peach's mom, she comes very rarely, and it's, uh, it's always wonderful to see, because uh, she really throws Peach's fur loop 